Clifton's home to many types of animals and plants, um, which include in the animals, uh, insects. Um, one of the coolest insects that I find are moths, especially the large ones, known as the silk moths. Um, here's a smaller version of one of those, of the members of the silk moth groups. Um, this one's called an I-O moth. That's spelled I, the letter I, and the letter O. This is a female. Females usually have this brownish colored forewings that you see here, um, overlapping a yellowish colored wing with an eye spot. In fact, both of the members of this species do have this eye spot, um, as well as the other members of the group, the Lunamossa cecropia and the Polyphemus. Anyway, this one's uh, sort of just hanging out here on the side of my wall uh, next to my house, perhaps waiting for uh, evening to arrive where it may become more active. Um, I'm not sure about the biology of this animal yet, but um, they, are, they are very interesting to uh, photograph because of their of the coloration. Uh, some of these moths, by the way, can get the size of a bat. In fact, they're often confused as being bats when you see them flying around uh, lights at nighttime. Uh, those members include the Cecropia, which is the largest of the group uh, found around here, the lime green Luna moth, the Polyphemus, and then this one called the Io. Um, again, males are going to be uh, similar in terms of the coloration, at least this part. Males are generally, I should say, all this color, more of a yellowish color, again with an eye spot. Um, very interesting. These are cool moths. Again, one of my favorites.